Thank you so much. This day is turning out great. But what can you do? Saying goodbye to this place. Beautiful place. As you can see, it's already um, about to be low tide though. But look at that long stretch of beach out there. Long stretch of beach. So that was it. Our last look at the beach. Really soaked it in with our eyes. You gotta soak it in with your eyes and not your gadgets. Not through your iPhone, not through your camera. You really gotta soak it all in and smell the fresh air. You don't get pollution out here. Not like in the city. We're going up now. Going on up. Uh, and going home. We're at this supermarket right now. Trying to buy buko juice. I mean buko shake. Trying to cool off. We also got mango right here. We're gonna buy some shake. This um, random place here. Supermarket. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay, nice to Thank you. Got my drink here. Got our drinks here? That hits the spot right there. Such a beautiful tray. We're stopping over this place because my mom's friend is from here and they're gonna give us cooked chicken that's good. Binisayang chicken, that's um, chicken from Cebu and it's really good. Let's go inside. The weather is really nice today. It's a really sunny day. That's Coach McCoy right there. So this is Coach McCoy's basketball team before. This is him right here. This right here. He looks really skinny here. That's him right there. Top right. He said all the players before used to be really skinny because they didn't lift weights, not like the players now. You know, they lift weights. So that's why you're wondering even back then, basketball players back then, they look really skinny. And they didn't lift weights, they just play basketball. It's all cardio. Look at all these. It's just so many memories. It's back in the 70s, 80s. This is Coach McCoy. This is Look at this. Tale of Julian McCoy. A warrior. He used to be a warrior at school. Now he's a um, coach. What are you doing? Are you going to coach? Yes, coach. So, when I'm going to coach, I'm going to go coach. No, I'm going to go coach. Check out this beautiful view, it's sunset time here in the province area. Province life. Hashtag, hashtag province life. It's so nice out here. to buy some ice cream. Why is this place so special right here? Uh, it's not any ordinary ice cream. What made it extraordinary? Goat, goat milk? Goat, 
goat milk. There you have it, goat milk. This is our first time visiting here. I think the last time we were here was in 2009. Is if you check my other videos, I think that was the random moments two or three. I was saying something about the slope of Fuville. You can check that out. It's there. That was here. We're gonna buy some ice cream, and it's made from goat, I think. That's what makes this um, ice cream special. This place is nice. Look at this place. You can sit here with your fam while ordering the um, ice cream, eating your ice cream here. And it's just right beside the road. This place right here is already in Barili. This is the Barili um, area. Good night. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Get the goods now. If this was cow's milk, then all I gotta say is. Mm. <laughs> if it's good. What milk. Are you enjoying your ice creams? Mm. No. <laughs> no. It's all. Nobody. It's already no. empty. It's already. <laughs> it's, there's no more. Oh That's it, Bob. That moon, though. Finally back in Cebu City. They go with the green in this beautiful, this beautiful full moon welcomes us. Just apologize for the road, but like, look at that moon though. You can't really tell here from the video, but in person it's really big. It's a huge moon. Beautiful, breathtaking view. But we gotta go home now, so end the vlog here.